this morning's woman's doctor, taking care of your liver is something many of us just don't think about. And while liver disease is often associated with alcohol misuse, it can hit anyone for a variety of reasons. And people with hepatitis C and other non-alcohol related liver diseases may not even know that they have it considering there are not many symptoms. But it is an organ that regenerates itself. Mercy Medical Center gastroenterologist Dr. Wan Yu says there are different ways to treat the liver. And Dr. Yu joins us this morning with a little bit more information. Good morning. How are you? Good morning. So we were talking about how a lot of times people associate liver disease with alcohol, but that's not really always the case. There are many other causes that can damage the liver, such as uh, uh, viral hepatitis, especially hepatitis C is very common in this country. And also another uh, epidemic is uh, fatty liver. So, uh, and also drug induced liver disease is one of them. So there are many other reasons. Is this something that can be hereditary? Uh, there, are, there are some hereditary liver diseases, but they are very uh, rare. We can test those. Okay. Now, I know we talked about there aren't many symptoms in a lot of these cases, but what are symptoms if there are any? Well, unfortunately, until a uh, very advanced stage, oftentimes we don't have symptoms. Mm. And then uh, when patient develops symptoms, the most common one is tiredness, some lousy feeling and also nausea, vomiting, and when it gets more severe, jaundice or water accumulation in the body, those are kind of symptoms. It's kind of nerve-wracking to think you don't really notice anything until it may be too late. What is the best is. treatment for some of these different diseases? Well, as, as in other diseases, pr if we can, prevention is the key. And uh, so uh, be mindful on using any kind of drugs and, and uh, use your discretion on alcohol drinking and also uh, avoid any kind of uh, um, the outrageous behavior or mm. use of illegal drugs, you know. And also um, the, uh, be use your common sense in precautions such as uh, not sharing a needles or okay. you know the toothbrush or razors which is not happening common yeah sure try to stay away from that stuff now we we're talking a little bit about um that the liver regenerates itself mm -hmm. and also i mean does liver transplant come into play in any of these cases well liver as i mentioned you know the liver has a lot of regenerative capacity until a certain point okay when it crosses the bridge of no return mm -hmm. then we lose that capacity and then uh, when uh, liver decompensates with the symptoms that I mentioned, then yes, liver transplantation is the option. Uh, hopefully no one has to get there, but mm -hmm. like you said, prevention is key, so mm -hmm. focus on being healthy ahead of time. That's the, a very important aspect. All right, Dr. Yu, thank you so much for joining us this morning. My pleasure. All right, and if you have any other questions or if you'd like a referral, you can call 1-800-MD-MERCY.